We should probably call somebody out there. And my dad said, Avery, guess what? And I said, what? And he said, take off all your clothes, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> and I was like, but for what? Nigga, I was helping you out. <laughs> and I stripped naked, and he put me over his knee. And he whooped my ass with the board. He, he, people, he beat the good Samaritan out of me. I, I haven't helped nobody since. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to introduce to you a new series of videos that I'll be doing here during the summer entitled Rediscovering the Soul of Austin. Some of you may not know I am an Austin, Texas native. The pandemic has also really changed the way things have felt, you know, being socially distanced for an entire year. Pre-COVID and pre, I would say, 2017, I was really social and a social butterfly. And I used to go out on the town a lot and just kind of discover different gems about Austin and do Austin things like watch live music and go to different shows and events. And just not being able to do that in a year, like an entire year, for an entire year is sad. I want to rediscover what makes people fall in love with Austin because I've gotten to a point in my life where I'm not necessarily in love with my city because I've been here my entire life. I'm very familiar with everything that is. There is Austin, Texas. So if you have any questions, this is a great time for you to like this video and drop a comment below. If you have any questions about Austin, Texas, or you're curious and interested in moving here and want to know, you know, are certain things true, I can pretty much tell you all about Austin because I've been here my entire life. So I'm gonna take you with me as I rediscover Austin and rediscover my social side. But yeah, you might wanna go ahead and subscribe at this point because obviously these videos are gonna be really good. Hey guys, so tonight's event is live music. I have been wanting to catch some live music for a while because it's been a very long time since your girl has done any live music. Back in the Dizzy, I used to be out and about on the scene, like during South by Southwest, like that was my thing. I was the South by Southwest girl. I was the girl who had like a spreadsheet, who was in all the different parties, the free parties, who knew people, who knew how to get in, who knew how to skip the line, like, that was my thing and it was just so addictive and fun and I got to meet different celebrities and go to different private events and I just felt like I was just the shit. <laughs> I'm just doing a makeup touch up right now. Um, tonight's venue is going to be radio. It is a coffee bar here in Austin and they have live music multiple times per week. I wanted to go last weekend. Um, check out an artist called Luna Ray. I will link her YouTube channel below because I think homegirl needs some love. I'm not sure if she's from, I think she might be from Dallas or Houston. I'm not quite sure, forgot. I checked out her YouTube channel. She didn't have a lot of followers, but I listened to her music, it's cute. It's kind of like, you know, her, you know, the H-E-R girl, her. It's kind of got that whole vibe going on. So I think she could be hot. I wanted to see it yesterday, but I just had other plans, like eating cake. <laughs> He's been having me work out a lot consistently. He just craves stuff that you would normally eat, and um, it's all like that. I worked it off already. And resting, I'm just so tired, and I just don't want to spend all my money in one week, right? So I'm not doing too much. I'm gonna do my smudge because I like a smoky eye. It's gonna be at night, so I like a smoky eye for the nighttime. And I want to bring all the boys to the yard with my smoky eye. Look at that. What y'all think? Obviously, I gotta add some lipstick, so don't be judging. Okay, so this is the look for tonight. Very simple, classy.
just t-shirt dress fitted. Pow. I'm trying to get a little pow pow. I've been in the gym lifting those weights, trying to get my pow pow back. Let's go guys. Okay, so I just got here. I've never been here before, but it's not far from where um, I live. So pretty easy to find, but let me tell you, parking is a bit um, there's a tire place across the street that allows you to park here for radio past a certain hour. I just hope I'm in the right space because I don't want to get towed. Ice cream cake for sponsoring this portion of the video. Just kidding. But really though. I succumbed to, to my cravings. Because I worked out today. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a breakdown of my experience at radio. As I mentioned earlier, it was my first time ever going to radio. I've never stopped there to get a coffee, nothing. First experience there. Parking was hard. I gather it's because it was Saturday night. They got a lot of music. Everybody's trying to get out and about. I will say that this was the first time I've been out in a long time that reminded me exactly of what city I lived in. <laughs> the people watching at this place was so good. It's like Nerd City. And I ain't got nothing against nerds. I like nerds. But definitely, um, I was a little disappointed. Actually, a lot of disappointed because I was pretty timely. I showed up about 20, 15 minutes before the music was supposed to start at 7. The music didn't start until 8. So I was there waiting. I had a bomb, bomb taco from the taco truck there that held me over a little bit and i had two margaritas with the spicy rim you know they were good they're all right um but i don't drink a lot so i'm not one of those people who can like just go to an event and like sit and drink and drink until it starts i know rock stars musicians they aren't ever on time but an hour for people who i don't even know So the band that was listed first is called Sun June. I don't know if I ever, I don't know if they ever came on stage because I didn't stay to the end. Like I, I can't be sitting there and waiting for musicians to get their get their life together. I gotta go. I watched um, Daphne Tunes. They were the ones who came on at 8 p.m. They were actually surprisingly really good. Um, I felt I felt their music. I really did. I almost shed a tear on that last song just listening to the acoustics it was beautiful definitely enjoyed them i'll probably check them out on youtube if they're on there and maybe i'll link them below even though they were on an hour late 
like I said, good people watching. Everyone's so nice in Austin. They're so friendly. They're all giving hugs and stuff. And I'm just sitting there by myself waiting for this music. Like, why y'all aren't on stage? Because I got to go home. Um, overall experience, it was all right, you know. And I feel like I know y'all enough. Like, we friends. We cool. I can break code and I can kind of relax my language a little bit right now. Two margaritas in and I'm eating ice cream cake. I'm about to relax my language, so do not judge me. Um, yeah, it was all right. I, do, I will say after I've seen a rock performance, I tend to feel like I need to balance myself out and get some soul in me, like go find some hip hop or some kind of like R&B to kind of balance it out because I can't do too much rock. Like I, I listen to all genres of music, really. However, I can't just listen to one. I can't just listen to too much hip hop. I can't listen to too much R&B. I can't listen to too much rock. I can't listen to too much classical. I gotta, I gotta mix it up because I be leaning way too, too, too much to one side, and that's just not my personality. I'm very much so a blended cookies and cream ice cream. That's just me. But I would say week one. Of rediscovering the soul of Austin was a success and I'm excited to share with you guys what happens next week so if you enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and of course if you want to continue to follow me on these chronicles of rediscovering the soul of austin be sure to subscribe to my channel i post two videos every week usually sundays and tuesdays so mark your calendars because i got more coming for you next week i do have my dallas trip so i'll be getting some travel some travel content for y'all and some live music content because i got live music in dallas too but i'm gonna continue to enjoy my cookies and cream ice cream cake and kind of figure out how i'm about to edit all this content mm. thank you so much for watching i'll see you later bye